so confused about Xbox's strategy. What is Xbox doing? Oh, no. I don't believe any of it. I don't believe that talking point. And if you are watching this video right now and you're confused about Xbox's strategy, I would be willing to bet you you're only confused because you pay attention to people on social media who are saying that it's confusing because it's not actually confusing at all. Xbox's strategy is Game Pass. What about Xbox exclusives? What about Xbox exclusives? Some titles are going to Xbox or some titles are going from Xbox to multi-platform. Yes, some. Not all. Not all. Just some. On a case-by-case -case basis. Starfield is so far still exclusive. If all games were going, why isn't Starfield? going exclusive. So we have this news story that dropped its rumor that Microsoft employees completely confused about new Xbox strategy, says Insider. Now, this Insider has been right on a few things. Uh, I would be willing to bet that what this is is one single Xbox employee who is trying to make news here for himself or one influencer, this ins IE Insider, trying to make news for themselves because it's honestly not confusing. I just explained it to you right there. And I, I just don't, I don't think... I think it's clickbait. I think the media uses it. I think that people online use it for clickbait. I mean, we're using it in our title. You probably clicked on this video because of this. Uh, but yeah, I don't believe it at all. I don't think Xbox's strategy is confusing. We're going to talk about that. We're going to go over Call of Duty numbers for their beta. Have you guys seen this? Mind-blowing. They dropped a tweet last week. Mind-blowing. They also did announce how they're going to handle the early access campaign. We'll go over that. And then also, we got some Shattered Space deep dive. A Shattered Space deep dive video. We're going to go over it real quick and talk about it. Before we do, don't forget. Get. I can't talk today. Before we do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. My name is X1 The Gamer. We drop videos like this all the time. Usually I can talk a little more smooth. I don't know what's happening today. Uh, here is the story over at PureXbox.com. Rumor Microsoft employees completely confused about new Xbox strategy. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's see what they have to say. Um... While the almost constant shifting is proven to be somewhat confusing for the fan base, as it turns out, one, it might actually be puzzling for Xbox employees as well. At least that's according to a well-known leaker, Extras Ones, who put a new YouTube video over the weekend discussing these strategy shifts and how they're going down over at Microsoft headquarters. This is according to Pure Xbox. They said, now we're not fluent in Spanish, apparently the, the video is in Spanish. But thankfully, the Spanish insiders provide a snapshot for the video over on Twitter, which we've translated down below. Here is what the video says. This is it translated from Spanish to English. According to several Xbox employees, the internal situation is quite complex between the layoffs and changes they have made in recent months. Most, ex most employees I have spoken to are completely confused about Xbox's overall strategy. So do you see that sentence right there? That sentence is super confusing. This is a journalistic trick that you'll notice. Most employees I have spoken to. Well, that's not most employees. That's most employees you have spoken to, number one. The recent layoffs at Xbox Activision have even impacted the Call of Duty and Warzone mobile teams who have not met revenue expectations. The company's new goal is clear. Move its subscribers' numbers on Game Pass and consoles, which are currently stagnant. So the company's new goal is clear, but you just got done saying that they're confused about Xbox strategy, but their new goal is clear. It's exactly what I said. Subscriber numbers on Game Pass consoles, which are, I mean, get subscriber numbers to Game Pass. That's it. Game Pass is their strategy. That is it. Oh. Pure Xbox said this seems a bit vague. We don't know if it's true. Uh, chances are, let's see. However, we know this insider must have a pretty reliable source. They've leaked loads of accurate Xbox Game Pass predictions over the last few months. Yeah, true. Let's see what comment says. Just out of curiosity. I always like to read the comments just to see what's being said. Most of it's probably yes, because most employees don't need to know. Yep. The only true uh, the only true part is the stagnant Game Pass uh, because the figures have shown this. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm very confused by this talking point. Regardless, I mean, it, it gets news, but I just don't think it's accurate. In fact, even in, the, even in the own sentence that they've copied over, the company's new goal is clear. Well, then why is it confusing? If the new goal is clear, then there's no confusion about, game, about the Xbox's strategy because their new goal is clear. Their new goal is clear. That's what it said. I would love to know what you guys think, though. Do you think that the Game Pass uh, Xbox strategy is confusing? I genu genuinely don't. I really don't. If you do, please explain to me why it's confusing. In my mind, the way I view it, maybe I'm missing something. The way I view it is that 
Xbox is focused on Game Pass. Some first-party titles will go multi-platform where it makes sense to expose people to the value that is Game Pass. For instance, Indiana Jones. You can get it on Game Pass day one, or you can pay $70 to get it elsewhere. That's an incentive to get it on Game Pass. Not all games will be going cross-platform. Anyone that is saying that to you is lying to you. Anyone that's saying that to you, Microsoft has not said that. They've never said that. In fact, they've said the opposite. What they've said is we take it by on a case-by-case basis. And so far, on this case-by-case basis, I 1,000% agree with the moves that are made. They make complete sense to me. Anyways, like I said, I could be wrong. I'm not, but I could be. If I am, let me know in the comments below. What am I missing here? In that, let's with that. First of all, if it's so confusing, let's just let's let's just go to what's crushing it. This was posted last week by the Call of Duty team. The dev team at Treyarch is going through all the data and the feedback to make the launch even better. There's so much more to come in October. And check this out. Let's blow this up. Number one, you made Black Ops Six open beta the biggest Call of Duty beta ever. Ever Number one in total players, number one in hours played, number one in playtime per player, number one in most matches played. This is against other Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duties, which is the largest selling game of all time. This is going to be one of the biggest Call of Duty launches ever, if not the biggest launch of Call of Duty ever. It is now an Xbox IP. This is just good news for Xbox. Now, why are we looking at this? Because Call of Duty has come out and said there is not, not going to be an early access option to the campaign. Usually what they do is they sell an early access option so you can get in a few days early to the campaign. They're saying, nope, we want all day one, which to me says there's some big spoilers in the campaign that they don't want anybody to see. They want everybody to experience it at the same time, on the same day, same date launch for everybody. That is absolutely huge. Love it. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Uh, and keep in mind, once again, if you have Game Pass, guess what you get day one? Call of Duty right here. Again, strategy is not confusing, not at all. With that, let's take a look at Shattered Spaces. This is the video that dropped. This is the uh, deep dive on Shattered Spaces. They're really trickling this content out, and I think it's for obvious reasons. It's a big deal. It will help revive, bring back into the forefront Starfield. Starfield has a bunch of mods already. They've done a great job of supporting this game so far. We've got improved maps. We've got the new vehicles. And now we have Shattered Space, the handcrafted DLC here. Now, one thing that really stood out to me in this video, you can go watch it on YouTube. Just type in Shattered Space. This is the deep dive. One thing that really stood out to me is they repeated multiple times and they, they seem to really go out of their way to say, this is a handcrafted planet and you can complete the entire mission of the shattered spaces on this planet. You never have to leave. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. One of the complaints on Starfield is the space travel that it's not super fluid, that it's basically loading screens. And I think it's a fair criticism. I love Starfield. I love it when I'm in space. I love it when I'm on a planet. Having said that, there is a lot of loading screens in between that kind of does disconnect you from the immersion that is space and um, space simulation, right? Like No Man's Sky does it much better. Elite Dangerous even does it, does it better uh, in that respect. So the fact that they went out of their way to say you never have to leave the planet here if you don't want to means a couple things. Number one, I think I think it's going to be a dense planet uh, by dense. I mean, a lot of things on there to do like there's going to be variety. There's going to be tasks. There's going to be tons of different animals, exploration opportunities, I'm sure. Uh, obviously, multiple quest lines. Keep, keep in mind, we're going to the planet of House Varun and we're learning about House Varun here. We're learning how they isolated themselves off and how they've been able to survive isolated and isolating themselves off from the system from the rest of the system rather or systems with an s now personally i married andrea spoiler alert here you can marry people and i married andrea who is of house varun so i'm going to be very curious how this plays with my storyline going to this planet i'm also going to be very curious to see what they do with the ng plus here do, does anything happen does anything tie into ng plus if you are on ng plus does that affect the way that you play this at all does it change anything up for you because i think that's one of the most fascinating things about starfield is how they tied ng plus into the storyline directly which i think i think was really smart i think it goes a little bit underappreciated for sure but super curious about it and super curious how this goes house varun is probably the coolest 
of the houses has has some of the coolest lore. Maybe that's because it's just steeped in mystery at the moment and you don't really know too much about it. And so saving it for this DLC and hopefully just really diving in on who House Varun is, what their story is, how they got to this place, I think could be big. This is the deep dive. It's only gotten me more excited for Shattered Spaces. And I think it's going to absolutely crush it. I would love to know what you guys think. Are you excited for Shattered Spaces? Have you checked out the deep dive? If not, highly recommend going and checking it out. Now might be a good time to jump back in and just refresh. You know, I have to jump back into a game and relearn the controls and figure out what was I doing the last time I pulled this game up. Uh, I highly recommend doing that right now. I think it's time. I think it's time to prepare for Shattered Spaces. Just look at these screenshots. They look absolutely beautiful. I am blown away here. Also, House Varun. Just cool. That does us for today's video, everybody. I hope you liked it. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, come join us on Discord. We've got a group there uh, that we're growing, a community. We're hanging out, having fun. We're gamers. If you like this video, if you like this community, join us over on Discord. I will pin it in the comments. Have a great rest of your day, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.